Hey everybody, Michael Walker, Secondary Digital Learning Specialist, and uh, March has come in like a lion here, hence the hat, uh, but uh, this is a reflection on Digital Learning Day, which was yesterday. Um, I think 10 years ago when we talked about Digital Learning Day, we talked about kids going to the labs and uh, to do technology, um, and today it's a lot different. Um, many schools, although not all, have uh, one-to-one -one access for students for a device, at least at school. Um, and that's really changed how we think about Digital Learning Day. Um, I think uh, we have kind of tried to wrap digital learning around the lens of personalized learning so that students have a profile that they own, that they can share their passions and interests and uh, how they learn best and a place for them to reflect on their learning and a place for teachers to see uh, that so that they can incorporate that into their uh, instruction. They have a uh, pro, uh, proficiencies of progress where they can access and see where they're at in their learning uh, in regards to standards and learning targets. Um, that there's a snapshot there that both they can look at, that the teacher and parent can look at to see where the progress is. And then pathways that students have choices and and how they explore content, how they engage in the content and collaborate with peers and teachers, and then how they express their learning, giving them multiple options that they didn't have before unless they walk down the hall to the lab to do that. And so Digital Learning Day to me has changed a lot in the last 10 years. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of how uh, we talked about 21st century learning back in the 90s, and here we are almost a fifth of the way through the 21st century, and really uh, we need to think about it just as learning and uh, maybe get rid of the digital as, as part of it. So those are my thoughts for Digital Learning Day, and thanks for the opportunity to share. Have a great day.